no. We are here for Ex Libra. And we have the mod. We should have all the love we need, too. Oh, it looks like a rock. Alright, it's a rose. Wait, it says spike. No, it's not spike. Circle be bad. That's right, I couldn't go to school anymore. You want to give love to Annalis? Yes. <clears throat> Trying to do her just a bit longer. Is this all they're worth? What are you doing, Auntie? I'm selling the stuff in the house. That's Mommy's. Why? Do you know how much those tickets cost? If we can't get a hold of any, we're finished. But all you do is defy me, despite being useless. She still finds a way to annoy me, leaving this good-for-nothing behind. What a bitch. I don't know. You're living in her house. Trying to sell her things, so it sounds like she was doing better than you. I, I don't even know what to say. Right, my mother died young, and since my father was so busy in the lab, I lived with my aunt. <laughs> Seems like you haven't had any good memories. Hmm. Hey, maybe it would be for the best if we stopped here? No. <laughs> Oh, bitch. Ow, please stop pulling me. The only thing fancy about you is your looks. Go make money with that body. I don't want to. You don't want to? Are you going to disobey me? Who do you think raised you? I don't... I don't want a ticket. Huh? You were never getting one to begin with. I've raised you up until now. The least you could do is return the favor, right? Help. Cunt. Uh, we might be done by the time you're done, Taco. <laughs> I think that Anulis has passed. Is this awful? I can't. I can't bear to watch anymore. Auntie, she was obsessed with getting a ticket to escape the planet. You don't have to try so hard to remember. Isn't it fine that you're safe and sound now? No, it's okay. I want to remember. Something's coming back to me. Hmm? Please tell me her aunt just dies. That would only be too good. There's a knife on the couch. There's a knife on the couch. I'm home. <laughs> Did you sell any tissues? You approached everyone on the street, didn't you? Yes. Well, not like that matters now anyway. Huh? Called it. I found a way to get money quickly. I never would have thought the organ trade would still be going during the end of the world. Ah, stop! Stop it! It's time you return the favor. Keep still. No! No! Ah! Oh my, I see that red blood still flows even in a dimwit like you. Yeah. Be a good niece and die already! Lilica, are you home? It's been a while, but I'm back. D D of course you pick now of all times to come back. What What have you done? Oh well, you and your daughter can go to the other side together. Gah! What a cunt bitch. <laughs> D D this, is, this is enough. Daddy. You're forcing her to relive more of these memories? Are you a demon? I mean, clearly she has more memories. She clearly didn't die there, right? Nope. He made it to this. Where am I? 
Whoa, it's a success. Daddy? Ah, oh, God, thank you. Thank you so much. Why am I? I'm so sorry. I was so immersed in my research that I, I let you suffer like that. What happened to Auntie? She was arrested. One of the neighbors reported her. Daddy, you're bleeding. Yes. She ended up stabbing me too. You have to get to a hospital quickly. No, it's fine. It's too late. I have something else I need to do. Oh no! Lilica, I'm sorry for being such a lousy father for leaving you like this. Like what? I'm sorry for burdening you with this mission. Mission? I just didn't want to give up on your life. As long as you're alive, one day you'll surely. Daddy! I hope you'll find happiness somewhere. Daddy! Daddy, no! That I remember it now. He saved me. Lilica. <laughs> I may have had a hard life, but there was still someone that loved me. I remember that now. Uh-huh. Thank you for helping restore, to restore my memories. Yes, that's right. I'm glad we didn't give up. I still can't remember what happened after that, but for some reason I feel like I have to. Hey, may I stay here until I remember? Thank you. I'll do my best to find some way to be helpful. You're all still best girl. Don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I like she A few days later. Oh, good morning. <laughs> this is your house, isn't it? Where do you sleep? With you. Well, we're pretty used to sleeping in the open air. Eh, the open air? I feel like I should apologize. Less than being useful. I'm just in your way. Do I remember you? No, nothing in particular. Did we know each other? Well, it seems you haven't recalled that much yet. Do I want to know about this world? Yes, please teach me. I've looked around outside, but my mind can't keep up. Here you have trees. Here you have trees. Nothing entertaining. It's just trees and trees. Amazing. <laughs> it's completely different from the age I was in. Yeah, it's worse. Even the food is different. It's nothing like the protein blocks. Protein blocks? The thing you gave me the other day? A fruit, I think? That was so tasty. I wonder if I can also do that thing you call cooking. Probably not. You think so? Then I might give it a try sometime soon. He did say that he'd eaten a noodles of cooking before. This world is amazing. It's like I'm in a dream. A few days later. <clears throat> oh, good morning. You know, I went to the bakery next door. They were so kind to me. They gave me bread and it was so delicious. This world is wonderful. Even if it's all just a dream, I'm glad I could be here. That's what I think. Born in that awful future. Gackled by that horrible past. She has truly suffered for so long. Today, I'm going to a cooking class to learn some recipes. When I make something, will you taste test it for me? Yeah, I will be looking forward to it. Well, it's almost time for my lesson. See you later. Mm-hmm. Hey, right now, Anneli, er, I mean Lilica, seems to be much happier now that she's moving on. Would it be better if we stop trying to make her remember the past? I don't think she needs to recall what she did while she was under Anubis' control. Apparently she do. Baking is so hard. It's okay, baby. I give you love anyway. It's okay, baby. Oh, good morning. Ah, that's right. This is for you. I acquired bread. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, is this bread? 
It's my first attempt at making it. What do you think? I feel like my life's in danger. I made other things too, but when I tried to make them... When I tried to take them home, the others were very insistent on stopping me for some reason. But since <laughs> I promised you were tasting, I chose the best one and stuck it out of class. Oh my god. Oh, right. We just finished our meal a short while ago. If we eat now, we won't be able to appreciate how delicious it is. We should wait until we're hungry. Really? I suppose there's no helping it. Let me know what you think later, okay? Yeah, we're on it. Good thinking, Harvard. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't nothing wrong with taking a nice, long, hot soak in the bath, okay? I don't need you calling me out <laughs> like that, Taco. <laughs> the fact that he knew. <laughs> All right, achievement unlocked. Eat the death bread in front of her. Oh no! Achievement unlocked. But since I'm not playing on Steam, don't cheat. No. Let me know what you think about the bread, okay? Mm. Normally, you would eat that bread while you have the skill Junkie equipped in place of Ultimate Medicine, which will double all your stats. Mm. Oh, good morning. How was the bread? Delicious. You died. What's wrong? My head hurts. I'm fine. I think I'm just a little tired. <laughs> yes, I'm okay now. When I look at you, for some reason, I feel a pain in my chest. For some reason, I start feeling guilty. Like I'm trying to take you away from Shiro. I shouldn't, I should stop it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> If it's about our sleeping arrangements, you don't have to worry about it, alright? We sleep with Shiro. She makes great pillows. <laughs> You're trash! Shiro's the best! Well, okay. Shiro is great, but Shiro is top is best girl. And then Kuro. Anulis ain't nothing! She's so basic! This little blonde Santa Claus looking motherfucker. Fucking I will! <laughs> Yeah, trash bay. I think I'm forgetting something important. You don't need to force yourself to remember something that pains you. Like, as trash as she is, she did not deserve what happened to her in the past, but that's like, I'm not going to be with somebody just because I pity them. I want to remember. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Father! Simba. <laughs> I feel like it's something I have to do. It's probably something I shouldn't forget. I can't move on with my life while ignoring this feeling. Give her more love, because I want the laser sword. <laughs> my head hurts. Could this, could this be it? I think something's coming back. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Connection with brain verified. Who are you? I am the AI of the Anubis system. I have been given I have been given this mission with you. Daddy said something about this. What exactly is this mission? Henceforth in the world line we are diving into, we will produce combat mummies using corpses of the world's living organisms. They shall be used to erase the human population, save those that have DNA with their that have their DNA registered. What? Synchronization rate decreasing. Rejection confirmed. No, I don't I don't want to do that. Synchronization rate decreased to 20%. Ego is presenting space-time travel. It will be erased. Mission will not be impacted. I'm going to be erased. Initiating dive. So does the true end have an additional final boss to it or no? After that, I vanished. Anubis' logs back at the lab said the ego re-emerged even though it should have been gone. In a sense, this means we can say that Anubis and Lilica are two different people. Okay, because... I switched it down to easy mode to do grinding for the love. After I had already beaten the, um... The final... Yeah. I switched it to easy mode when I was grinding the love, but I did beat the final boss on impossible mode yesterday. So I did get the good ending, but not the true ending on impossible mode yesterday. 
But then I wanted to grind the love in the abyss and I didn't want it to take so fucking long. So I am on easy mode now. How did I cheat? <laughs> like putting it on easy mode didn't make it any easier, it just made it quicker. I went through the entirety of the abyss. I already achieved glory. I beat the final boss on impossible mode. I don't know why, but I think I remember what happened after this. Perhaps it's because of all this that happened. It's all this happened to the same brain. Maybe the fragmented ego, all the scattered memories. Now, if you want to say I cheated because I only needed to farm the one extra love out of a chest because I dismantled the valentine's day present to get the one love i used for my scales then yeah sure maybe the fragmented ego all the scattered memories will reconnect the more you remember i just started out on a different life perhaps this aching in my chest is from the other me please can you help me remember i want to remember you do know that those memories they won't be very pleasant are you fine with that? I don't need the... Like, I don't need the super powerful final weapon. I just need the ending. Because if I had to... If I had to beat the final boss... Because there's no way in hell I would be doing all the grinding before the final boss. Like, if I had to beat the final boss anyway without the super powerful weapon, then it, it doesn't matter. Like, I hate how games give you, like, the super de duper most powerful weapon with nothing to really use it on anymore. Yes, I had a feeling that would be the case. Like, Final Fantasy Wild Arms are very big fucking at that. Like, oh, hey, you beat the most powerful fight in the game. Here's the most powerful thing in the game, but now there's nothing else to use it on. Yeah. And those games don't have new game pluses. I guess I had a feeling that would be the case. If they weren't, then why would it be hurting so much? <laughs> like, you can go back and watch the last half an hour of yesterday's stream and then watch me just kill the final boss on impossible mode. Please, help me. I want to remember my other self. It's just, I have I have such a backlog that I didn't want to have to grind for like five extra hours to get the one extra love that I needed. Well, I think I can feel the memories returning. But yeah, I, I can say that I beat the entire game on impossible mode. Even that stupid All-Stars fight with the fucking eight enemies of bullshit. So I'm okay with that. Yep, we die. Oh, we alive. Oh, we die again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're alive again. We leave. Everybody die. Yeah, you killed them all. Anulis can't be base. He killed all my friends. I don't care. Anu, I I remember now. I summoned all the demons and I butchered everybody. Everything. I'm sorry. I... I... No. You haven't done anything wrong. I asked you to help me. I've committed such horrible, unforgivable crimes. But here I am, trying to live happily. I know. What, what the fuck? Newless. I wanted... I wanted you to kill me. How could I ask you to do that? How could... How can I do what I did and still hope to live a normal life? You can't. There's a door. I got multiple doors. Pick one. He's right. Anulis, you didn't do any of this. You were under the complete control of that AI, weren't you? I'm sorry. To me, it just can't be resolved that easily. Okay. Maybe we should give her some time. Just give me... Give me some time. 
I'm sorry. All I can do is keep apologizing. Dots. Hey, do you remember the time we lived together here? I was the preggers. We were gonna have corpse, robot, hero, god killer babies. <laughs> When you were leaving, at the time, I, I felt so frustrated that you considered something more important than our life together. So I lied to you. I lied and said I was pregnant. Oh, you bitch. Baby trap! Baby trap! Not Don't, bae. Not bae, baby not bae, trap. Baby trap. <laughs> nope. Not bae, baby trap. <laughs> I got gods to kill. I can't fucking... I can't be raising no babies. That's the worst thing I could have done. Damn right. Isn't it? Damn right. Fucking, I ain't, I ain't being with no baby trap and hoe. It didn't actually matter. He looked into me. Damn right it didn't, because she never technically told me. <laughs> she whispered it like, But I'm... <laughs> Maybe it's true. The atrocities committed by the demons I made may have not been under my own will. But you know what? It was still me that went crazy. I was the one that felt betrayed by you. The one who let your friends die? It was me. I truly am the worst. Such a horrible person. Yep. Go. Someone like me doesn't deserve to live. Agreed. Give me your. Give me the laser. Kill yourself and turn yourself into the sword. Huh? That's true, to be honest. Damn right. Everything that happened when you went berserk never took place in this reality. Oh, do not wipe it under the fucking rug like that, Charon. Shut up. She still did it. We still experienced it. It doesn't matter if it's not here. We still went through it. Something so convenient couldn't... It may sound strange, but it's all true. We've redone everything from the very beginning. And resolved everything peacefully this time. You don't have to worry about that matter anymore. Ah, I see. Then all those people are still alive. I'm so glad. Truly. That alone is... enough to fill me. But even if it all, all that is true, it doesn't just erase what I did. I'm sorry for being so negative, for being so stuck on the past. Back then, I tried not to show any weakness when I was with you. <laughs> of course you'd say that. You're truly too good of a person. Ha. Huh. I can also testify to the extremes of his good nature. But that's not all, is it? This guy. No, please, that's enough. All I've done is take things from you. I can't take any more. Then give. Give it to me. Give me your body. How much love do I still have left to give her? Hey, goddamn. I need to get ready to leave this place. He just won't shut up. A few days later. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you. Thank you. For all that you've done for me. What's this? All of a sudden? I just... I don't want to cause you any more trouble. Because you're such a good person. You're kind to everyone. I, I take advantage of that. Even though I don't deserve it. I really do feel like I need to make it up to you. But as long as I'm here, rather than repaying you, I'll just keep causing you trouble. That's right. So give me the sword and get out. That's not that's not true at all. Hey, shouldn't you be saying something here? Yeah. Get out. Anulus is leaving, you know? Yeah. Good riddance. And give me that flower in your hair. You don't deserve it. <laughs> give it to Shiro. You hey, you. You don't go to school, do you? Is it true you don't have parents? Do you really live in that shabby orphanage? Yeah. One can never truly kill Shiro. She's alive with us in spirit. And also in other timelines. Like, how could you not... <clears throat> nope. She, she's alive. Perfectly alive. Oh, is that the time we first met? Like, how can you hate somebody who's going to threaten to put her dirty underwear in your mouth? <laughs> Anulis wouldn't do that, so therefore automatically not Bay. Of course I remember, but who wouldn't want that? Don't worry, Taco, when you get older. Don't worry, Taco, when you get older, you'll understand. Why are you all alone? Where's your mom and dad? Oh, you're saying I'm the one who saved you? I mean, yes, but you also killed me like three times. 
This fluttery thing in my hair? It's called a ribbon. Are you too stupid that you don't know what a ribbon is? Didn't your parents teach you nothing? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's my favorite accessory. Do you want to wear it too? It'll make you look beautiful. I do look beautiful. I take the ribbon off of my head and hold it out to Annalise. Don't give her my fucking ribbon! This, don't tell me you, you had it all this time. I mean, you can see it. It's like ten fucking feet long. He's been searching for you all this time, Annalise. And when I say all this time, I really do mean all this time, you know? Over the course of two lives, he's never given up. Not even once, even though he should have, because you're like mid at best. Someday we should go look for paradise. Just like when we finally sealed the flowers. As we pass through that endless forest. You still remember that? We talked about it so long ago. In the end, it's like he went crazy. He went and brought your brain back from the future. The fuck? <laughs> uh, hey. You should at least tell her the last part in your own words. I love Amelia. To the best of my ability, I try to express my feelings to analysts. I know she wrong. You're mid. You suck. Oh, oh my. Is it really okay for me to... No, it's not. You don't mind? I do. If I stay with you, get out of here. Leave. My house. I only got one bed and it's mine. It doesn't even look like a particularly big bed. I'm so, so happy. Me too. I love you too. Bitch, you don't even know me, know me. You have like vague memories and, ha and in half those memories you killed me. Fucking, who's to say you won't kill me in the future? A noodle's opened up her heart. The ending has changed. So happy. Nothing else can make me happier than this. Except giving me the fucking laser sword. A few days later. Hey, actually good women are here. Cool. Oh, Kuro and Shiro as well. What's up? Did you want to see Analis? Heh. <laughs> that really is incredible. Things like this really do happen, I suppose. Um, huh? You two are confusing analysts. What exactly happened? Uh, I'm sorry. We felt a strong magical force in the area, and we traced it back to this place. A strong magical force? That's right. Nothing has felt out of the ordinary recently, but all of a sudden the concentration of magic here felt like it increased. It's a tremendous force. It's at the same level as the two of us, and we're strong enough to be known as witches. Oh, does that mean... Are you saying it's coming from Analyst? Me? That can't be right. If you think about it, could it be the power of the Anubis system? You used to have abilities quite similar to magic, right? You could fly around here and there while firing off various spells. That's certainly true, but... Anulis, would you like to work for the guild? No! Um, huh? Oh yeah, she's so OP that we beat her ass with a stick. Nah, we're OP. Anytime she was here, the only difficult part of the fight was me. It'd be a shame to let your skills waste away here. You've got my seal of approval. Hmm, it's not that I don't understand how you feel, but Anulis just arrived in this world. To suddenly thrust her into the guild's work would be a bit much. That's fine. We, we cured that too. We're so strong, we actually beat away blood cells and germs for him. Of course, I don't mean to pressure you with this. You should prioritize what you want to do. I I was thinking I could work at the bakery. I'd be able to cook for everyone, and then I could kill you all for real. Alright then, let's check out the guild, shall we? I feel like working at the guild may be your calling. Yup, it'll be perfect for you, Anulis. Really? What the heck? You sure changed your tune quick. Shh. Do you want to die again? I thought about it, and it would be nice to get along with your friends, right? I think I'll try working for the guild. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. We're sure to have fun from here on out. All right, let's go to Melu's place. I'll lead the way. Yes. Like, she's been in town for who knows how long. How has she never been to the guild? Who else has joined the guild? Give me my fucking lightsaber sword.
You're looking a lot better now. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> ah, um, er... <laughs> Come on now, we've got way too many onlookers. <laughs> We're not onlookers. Everyone here is a member of the guild. Even Poland is here. If you're going to say that, isn't it also quite rare for Kai to join us? I just came to see what she really looked like. She drove that guy to such crazy lengths, after all. And I gotta say, she's pretty mid. My girlfriend in the future is way better. <laughs> She really is popular, huh? I thought it before, too, but with a beauty like her, it doesn't make sense. Big brother, you give in too easily when it involves a woman. With all of us here, the conversation will never end. For starters, do you want to introduce yourself? My name is... Lily. No, it's Annalis. It's nice to meet you all. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Suddenly shouting out like that? What are you, an idiot? Anulis is good at magic. What shall we put her in charge of? Lisa, you make everyone's meals, right? Including mine? Do you need any assistance? Hmm, that's true. With our numbers slowly increasing, it's getting a bit difficult to keep up. Even a pipsqueak like Kai eats more than you'd expect. It's because you guys boss me around all the time that I consume so much fuel. Now, now, we need someone in charge of cooking, yeah? Wait, hold on. Anything but... Leave the cooking to me. Despite appearances, I consider it my strong point. Oh? Then it's decided. Anulis, I look forward to working with you. Totally looking forward to it. I can't believe I can eat a beautiful girl's home-cooked meal. Yep. Frankly, it would help a lot. Let's do our best. With this many people, no one can hear me. Well, I suppose it won't be too long before she's replaced. Don't worry. We eat her food, and then Lisa comes. Healing! <laughs> Bye. In the meantime, we'll have to handle our own meal. Yeah, Anulis is also too tall. I had to retract my previous statement. Trembling with fear, I peeked at everyone's food. But to my astonishment, Anulis' food was as good as she boasted. That cursed bread was made by Lilica, a girl who had only ever eaten protein blocks. But in one of those parallel worlds, Anulis had lived together with him since childhood. She's been cooking since she was little. Hmm. He seemed to have forgotten about it, too. And afterwards, he feasted on her home-cooked food. With a very apologetic look on his face. <laughs> At any rate, Anulis became a guild member, proved her skills, rubbed my feet, and the matter was settled. <laughs> Here, I want to give you this. All right, I got a lightsaber. The Super Ultimate Laser Blade Muda Masa. It's a cursed blade. Is this some sort of glowing stick? I picked it up off the side of the road. It seems like things like exist in this age, too. It's not even just, it's not even a fucking lightsaber. It's a fucking prop. Like, I'll use it, but she also automatically, like, also knows a glow stick. Used to be very popular at idol concerts. How do you figure? Like, what's it do? It has 10 attack power. Oh, wait, no, I have to... I, oh, yeah, that's right. It gives me the sword... Okay, that's right. I have to master it to get the sword beams. That's right. Yeah, I have to get the battery from it. So oh, we have a lightsaber. Hey, I already have all attack. Or all magic. I have fucking Who who wants the attack stat? Nobody. It doesn't scale with magic for shit. The sword beams do, but the attack stat does not. Well, I do need to take away all my luck, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I, that's right, I don't have my stamina increasing stuff. 
attack gem off of this. I'm gonna put it yeah. That, that way I at least have a thousand attack. <laughs> Is the DLC on the Switch? This is on the Switch. This is that's what I've been playing it on this whole time. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see anything like it. I'll I'll, I'll take a peek. Plus, the rush would be finishing this, so I can and so I can play the DLC. Well, the fucking little side game. I gotta have my fiance play Final Fantasy VI. It's gonna be her first Final Fantasy game. We're gonna be doing that after we're done with this. So probably the next 15 or so minutes. But she doesn't she doesn't play the kind of things I play. She plays stuff like Resident Evil and other kind of survival horror games. I platinum to Bayonetta. She says she platinum Bayonetta. I guess I'm gonna have to get on my X phone and fucking pull that shit up for fruit. Or right. Bayonetta or, is fun. Or and here's what you can do. We own Bayonetta on these kinds of well. Uh, we don't have the money. I think I went through like two controllers to platinum it. Well, each controller is only ten bucks with the fucking what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, Bayonetta is really fun. I like the design of the game and stuff. I like Bayonetta as well. I actually need to finish Bayonetta 3. I want to see French Bayonetta. Oh my god, it's taking so long to put the match with anything. We're, we're gonna get fucking wrecked in the fucking the boss section. But that's why we have Beetle! Come carry us through. I need to play Devil May Cry 5. 
Like, I've played one through four. I own five, but I haven't played five yet. I've owned five for a long ass time. Platinum Games makes some pretty good games. I also need to get back and play Astral Chain. I played a little bit of that and I enjoyed it for what it was and I just kinda got distracted with other things. But yeah, Platinum Games makes some pretty good games. Yeah, I I I went back and replayed one, two, and three. I'm gonna go back and replay four before I play five. Yeah, yeah, Devil May Cry controls are pretty uh, not great. Yeah, I don't. I'm not terribly great at action games. My my main skill is 2D platformers. That's why I excel the most. Eh? Like I'm not bad at most kind of games that aren't shooters, but yeah. Let's go upgrade this damage. I've done a little more fucking physical damage. I think if I start at layer three, I should have it mastered by the time we get to the final boss. Hmm. Yes, dear. Yes. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. That look like the Ask Libra mini game DLC is on the Switch. Because I I avoid playing things on Steam as much as possible. Oh, my God. 
Our boy each bond been up to we're getting up to Required battery. Got it. I got the power now. I got it.
There's nobody following us. So I think all this should be the same. I think all this should be the same. Yep, this is all the same. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> space moon, bird moon, space boom. Alright, let's see what the true ending is. Then play Final Fantasy for like two hours. Okay. Then watch a bunch of One Piece. Sure. Then tomorrow we can get back into Data Live. Data Live. Live date. Peace out, new guy. Bad dead. Like this ending better change in a like 
in a fairly significant way, other than just like... Is it what crazy? There's anything better changing in a fairly significant way, other than just like... Welcome home! That would make me so mad. It'd make you mad. That'd make me so mad when you fall at work for a welcome home. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're sky people. Born and raised. In the closet where we spent most of my days. <laughs> this was a spectacular game. I might look into more of Keizo's game. Yeah, I'll look into more occasional games. This was pretty fucking good. I'm glad I did not tuck it in and look past this. What do you mean this is all he has? The freaking... The arena guy said, hey, play some of my other games too. I know, it took him a hell of a long time to make this, but this is still a spectacular game. Yeah, the arena guy said, hey, play my other game. So it's like, I want to play more of his games. <laughs> hey, so. Make another game. <laughs> I'll play it. The writing in this game was spectacular. I do love me a good time travel story. This was a pretty fucking good one. The old prime minister. God, look how attractive he is. Are you having something to do? Yeah, man. Femboy of the year right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, he gives us a run for our money. <laughs> God damn. I ain't gay, but for him I could be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That would be cool, yeah. Eh, I'm I'm not I'm not too big a fan of the fucking glow stick saber. Like, yeah, it does a lot of damage, but I, I don't like the way it behaves. I must prefer all of the different stabs. So, TLDR, not worth it for me. <laughs> What's this? Something seems off here. Ah, it's the mist. So we gotta play the DLC, because that's the Cave of the Phantom Mist, which is where that fiend was at. Nulis, is she asleep? So I bet the DLC is we're playing as her trying to escape the dream. That'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. I feel overcome by an intense drowsiness. Always sleep. Sleeping or not. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Me too. Why me? <laughs> I'm For a bird. Me, I'm a bird. <laughs> <laughs> this place. Are we back in that dream world? I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> See the illusion. An everlasting illusion. Ah. Oh, shit. The Fiend of Fog. Guys. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah. Analyst, move an inch and I will kill her. I told you I would make you pay. Don't worry about me. Yeah. Know your place. If your spiritual form is killed within this dream, you shall never wake again. Your soul itself will perish. Is a god really acting this cowardly? How long will you brandish your weapon at me? You don't seem to understand your position. Please, I am fine, so just much better. <laughs> Shit, there's nothing I can do here. In my true form, I could easily erase your pathetic existence. But after the way you ridiculed me, I deserve at least this much entertainment, yes? Please, stop it! With that, it's time to add the finishing touch. Do you know the best way to finish off a weakened spirit? Don't do it. Please, stop. Oh, shit. No, this can't be happening. 
Oh yeah, true ending. We lose. I'm sorry. Even at the very end, I'm just, I've just been a burden. I was hoping to repay you someday. I really thought I'd be able to. I don't have much time, so use the fucking scales. For the love of fucking God, use the scales. At least let me thank you. Thank you for saving me. You freed me from a life of being used by a machine. Thank you for always cherishing me. It seems like I'm always asking you for favors, but will you hear my last request? Please, don't lose. Get up. Please, just stand back up. <laughs> that was enough to break him? How boring. You're not even worth killing with my true form. Just stay there and rot away. Is this the end of the line? What is this presence? What? You, you look like... What? Is this anger? But I've never seen you get angry. This power is unfathomable. Oh, so there was another boss. But I must go all out against you. I'll reduce you to cinders. Oh, it doesn't matter if it was on easy mode or not. I'm invincible regardless. So I guess it's just a cutscene boss. Yep, so he can't do anything to me regardless. Okay. I don't feel bad then. Alright. Because knowing there was that boss there, I would have... Because I do have my save from Impossible Mode before I did the grinding. Uh. So I could have gone back to fight him on Impossible Mode. But since it's just... It's a boss fight for posterity's sake, I didn't feel like uh, I don't have to. We managed to return, but Anula says, your phone is dying. can't find the words. I don't know what to say to him. Nope. Nope. All the love you gave me. Uh -huh. No way. The pure white garments. I feel the power. <laughs> Am I alive? Is this a miracle? Nah, it's a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Just when I thought I was done for. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's as if I was sucked into that ribbon. That's right, that ribbon. It would have been made at the same time as Anulus' original body. Whenever I use those possession techniques this whole time, have I been possessing that ribbon? Was it just a vessel for spirits this whole time? Thank you. I felt your thoughts through that ribbon. I'm glad to be home. Hooray. The land descended to Gaia and the world became much more vast. I'll put some respect on her ribbon. I don't gotta respect her. Her ribbon carried the whole game. She didn't do jack shit. We began interacting with other lands with and unfamiliar clothes, food, and technology began to circulate throughout the world. That don't mean nothing! <laughs> she may have given it to me, but it was Charon who managed to make fucking use of it. Without Charon, that ribbon don't do shit. Yeah, where was the magic of her ribbon when Charon left me the couple of times? When Charon was dead? Nothing. <laughs> Ribbon didn't do nothing without his power. Even so, only a fraction of the world is covered by human lands. Most of Gaia remains completely uncharted. So then, her ribbon didn't do nothing if it's... Like, because we're too stupid to make use of it, her ribbon doesn't do anything. She gave it to us. She didn't give it to Charon. She made Charon, sure, but... 
instead of her making Charon, she could have just, you know, stayed with us the whole time and fought with us instead of, you know, letting him fight with us and leaving. In that uncharted world are even settlements of people. They escaped the threat of Gios by their own means and had lived on Gaia. A distressed call came in from one of these settlements, just located that what was once on the western edge. The settlement said to only allow women. Men are forbidden from entering. Hey. With only a team of women hurried to the site. Go forth, my servants, for Melu's written request. And that is where the DLC comes in, I think. I said it before, we're not your servants. More importantly, didn't we agree that the party should be only women? Why are these two men with us? Aren't the two of them just going to escort us to the site? No, see, I'm gonna dress in the... I'm gonna dress in Kuro's clothes, and we're gonna give Gao the earrings. Women. After that, we'll be on our own. I'm sure that it'll be a huge uproar, even if we leave the men outside. But, you know, it's a bit worrying to let a group of women go off on their own, especially with a child. Who exactly are you calling a child? Hey, hey, are you forgetting something? We've got a way for everyone to get in there. Huh? Gal, with a figure like that, it's going to be pretty hard to patch yourself off as a woman. Wait, you're not thinking of... Attaboy, Karen. You picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> I'm saying I can use the Pip Squeak's earrings to transform into a woman. There's no way I'm giving them to you that easily. You're way too quick to grope yourself. And you, my man, can go and drag. Um, is he really gonna do it right in front of her? Hell yeah, why not? I have no shame. Drag? Uh, never mind. It's nothing. Idiot. There's so much I still don't know. There are some things you don't need to know. <laughs> anyway, it's still some distance to the site. We can decide when we're close. You're right. In fact, we haven't set foot outside this land. Then let's get going, yeah? There's a whole new world right there. Yeah. I can't believe the day has come. We're able to go on an adventure together. It's going to be fun. Our adventure is just beginning. Let's go to the new world. To new adventures. Thus, one story ends and a new story begins. Like, I wasn't expecting a whole-ass JRPG JRPG out of this. <laughs> like, there's some fucking 58 hours. Yeah, that's a, that's a chunk of game. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty beefy game for what it is. I wasn't expecting, like, a whole-ass thing out of this. <laughs> like, 25, 30 hours. Like most 2D RPGs. Oh, yep. Kai meets his bitch. The transfer student. Is it gonna be. Oh, wait, no, this is absolutely just Kai. Because, yeah, Kai could. Nobody else could survive this time. So, I'm Kai. I'm sexy. Man's got Riz living 2,000 years just to meet up with his babe. Man's got game. Once again, thank you for making. This game was incredible. Yeah, fucking give me more, give me more Kazo, bro. Like, a lot of quality of life features I really wish were in this game, but it was really fucking good. Yep, and then we yada yada blah blah here. Yada yada blah blah. Yada yada blah blah. Australia, you looked good when you were in Bonds. Although, I love the shoes, though. Yeah, 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 we've already seen this before.
Yeah, that was. That that just that just was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the entire thing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm.